And in order to avoid that, those very high numbers, we have to do at least several things. One, we have to uh, depend on what the president's going to do right now. And first of all, he has to uh, tell, uh, uh, wait till the cases before anything happens. Look, the whole idea is he's got to get in place things that were shortages of. I, I did insist. I, I suggested that we should have people in China at the outset of this event. And when, when it all started in Luhan province. Dr. Fauci, too. Please, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. President. This is for you and Secretary Azar. Um, Ten million people say they've lost their jobs in the past two weeks. So how is this stimulus money for uh, free treatment going to absorb the new numbers of uninsured? And ahead, would it not be easier to reopen the Obamacare markets or expand Medicaid? So uh, for an individual who had employer insurance, that's what I mentioned in my remarks. If you were employed and had insurance through your employer and you've now lost your job and lost that insurance, you now do have a special enrollment period where you may enroll in the individual exchanges of the Affordable Care Act. So that's, that's existing law. Then what we're doing is taking from that $100 billion to providers, taking money and saying, if you're a provider, and you care for anybody who's uninsured, we're going to compensate you for doing that. And we're going to compensate you at the Medicare reimbursement rate. And you are not allowed to bill that uninsured individual anything. So in many respects, it's better for those uninsured individuals They're going to get first dollar coverage. They're going to get care in the United States. And the provider is going to be made whole from this program. So, so it's really an unprecedented. Um, what President Trump is doing here with this money is an unprecedented disease specific support of care for individuals to make sure that people get treatment.